So I, I don't think Oracle networks are an alternative to layer ones or layer twos. I think they are a very important complement. So, so, so what I'm really seeing um, in terms of how the decentralized stack is developing is that people are continuing to focus. And I think that is a great thing. Focus is very important. So what I'm seeing is that blockchains are starting to try and focus on key features, but then there's a strategy where layer twos actually become an extension of those chains to focus on certain key features like scalability. And I really believe in that, right? So I believe that L1s and L2s and all those folks can focus and make certain smart contract state operations, private key signing operations, and um, you know, token ledger related operations really efficient. And that's really important for our industry. What, what Oracle Networks will do is they will provide all the additional computation that L layer ones and layer twos don't want to or can't do. So, so what that means is that if layer ones and layer twos don't provide enough privacy, you can configure an Oracle Network with a validator set whose privacy guarantees you're comfortable with because they might use something like trusted execution environments. And that's where you can execute that part of the smart contract. So, so this is where the concept of a hybrid smart contract is very useful in that I think smart contracts will continue to exist in both of these systems in different percentages, right? So some smart contracts will exist in blockchains to a very large percentage. And some smart contracts will exist partially in Oracle networks and partially in blockchains and layer twos. So it really depends what you want to achieve and what a blockchain allows you to achieve. So for example, if you want to achieve data aggregation, you're not going to achieve that in a blockchain. You're going to achieve that in Oracle network. But we have multiple smart contracts right now that of those over 900 Oracle networks use multiple, right? So they use multiple different Oracle networks for different pieces of data. They use other Oracle networks for automation to tell them what time it is to start and to stop the contract. They use the verifiable randomness function to generate randomness for security or distribution purposes. And many of them have already begun, you know, working with us on using the CCIP transition of, of data between chains or, or they're, they're looking at how to, how, 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 how to use that correctly. So I would really view, um, blockchains and smart contracts as the core code of an application and L1s and L2s will be where that core code lives. And I would view oracles and oracle networks as all of the services. So all of the APIs and all of the additional services that core code often uses.